and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about 10 things to have on you that are very very convenient for the summer here in Tokyo. Okay, moving on to sun care. This is number six. I have my current favorite go-to sunscreen is this. This is Shiseido Sun Medic and it's SPF 50 plus and PA4 plus 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 plus. I like this one because it's a gel type so it's very lightweight and it doesn't have any smell to it and it finishes pretty lightweight. It You don't really feel it. Um, you could use this for your face and body. So this is just a very well-rounded uh, sunscreen that I go to. All my friends that I recommended this one to, they all really liked it. So Shiseido also has another line that's very popular and I've used it over the past couple years called Anessa. This one came out uh, mid last year. I switched over to this one because uh, the other line has more like a matte finish to it so if you're if you want that for your base makeup um, it's pretty good or the rest of your body it finish out it finishes very powdery so it feels very nice when you're wearing it for those of you who kind of don't want that extra something and just wants to have a clean canvas this is kind of nice because you know how much stuff you're putting on your face you know when you're sweating your pores open so the more you're pores get clogged so um, I prefer something like this so that I know how much makeup I'm putting on my face uh, during the summer especially when I'm sweating yeah but I do like the other one as well I like the feeling of it especially on the body because it's it has a powdery finish so it's it's really up to you I bought this one because I like using it for my face but um, you know you could use it for the rest of the body so I just kind of shifted over to this one so moving on, number seven, we have umbrellas. I like to carry a sun umbrella everywhere I go because, you know, I don't want to get burned in the sun. And it kind of, it helps like a little bit with the heat. I know a lot of people who are not from Asian countries tend to think it's kind of strange to be opening an umbrella when it's not raining. But over here, it's not it's not as weird. It's because a lot of people uh, tend to not like to um, tan, so not a lot of people wear hats though. Um, I don't know why, but yeah. So I picked this one up from Loft. Usually from those sort of lifestyle stores, you'll find different types of umbrellas. Usually umbrellas that are just rain umbrellas, and there are umbrellas that are just sun umbrellas and then there's like the ones that are combination between rain and sun. Rain umbrellas are just you know waterproof but and the sun umbrellas might not be waterproof but it has something in the fabric that reflects UV rays and then the ones that are combination are both waterproof and they have something reflective. Usually they have something reflective or something thick like this sort of very it's very opaque material and it's kind of thick. I feel like there's something in here that's reflective. I've had a couple sun umbrellas and a lot of the times they're silver in, on the inside and I feel like it's because I don't know why but it's it feels like it blocks more sun. I don't know if it, it feels like it has a higher chance of blocking more sun than the ones that don't have this sort of thick or reflective material. I tend to bring an umbrella on me almost all the time regardless of the season but a lot more during the summer and that's also why my bag is so heavy all the time. So moving on to bug care, uh, during the summer a lot of mosquitoes tend to come out as well and you'll find a lot of drugstores and convenience stores would um, start selling a lot of mosquito repellents. There's, you know, the traditional kind of burning this incense thing outside or any sprays, patches. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of bracelets that have citronella in it. My favorite go-to one is this one. So this is Perfect Potion and it's an outdoor body spray 
and it has Nioli, Citronella, and Eucalyptus. So this one they say it's all natural and you can use it for sensitive skin. I know some people don't really like the smell of citronella. One of my friends told me that citronella you have to use outside anyways. It doesn't smell that bad to me at least and so far it's worked pretty well for me. It's pretty good. I have the travel size one and I usually keep this on me as well and my bag is getting heavier. Yay! I have used uh, mosquito repellent patches and those things that you carry on you but they smell really bad like it's like it gets it's like no stinging i put one on the outside of my clothes before and i could feel it burning <laughs> into my skin so i don't know they seem those seem to be very very powerful so um I don't like those at all, but it's up to you. You can find, you know, bug repellent anywhere in any uh, drugstore. However, for this one, since this one is more of the natural um, sprays, I bought this one from a store called Aroma Bloom, which you can find in here and there. Uh, they specialize in aromas and home care goods. You could find this in those type of stores. All right, so following up on the bug spray stuff. So if you do get bitten, you could use any anti-itching creams and things like that. But for me, I like these. These are anti-itching patches. And one of them in particular has Pikachu all over it. And I actually just, I got bitten a couple days ago um, already. And yeah, it just looks like this on the skin. It's not that noticeable, but it's Pikachu and you can put it on it and you can smile even though it sucks that you got bitten. Uh, but basically what I like about this is not only does it like calm the itching down, but it also prevents you from itching it yourself and breaking the skin and getting it infected. So it's really good for children, especially. You could get the Pikachu one or you could get this one. These are just the regular kind which are clear and when you, you know, put it on your skin, it doesn't you don't really see it. So I tend to use this more if I'm doing a shoot where I can't have Pikachu on me but otherwise I tend to use Pikachu more because yeah so lastly I have the miscellaneous section which are these these are hand towels so normally um, throughout the year I would have thicker towel hand towels the reason is because a lot of uh, bathrooms in Japan don't have paper towels or they would have those um, or they'll have those hand dryers and I don't like to use the hand dryers a lot so quite a lot of people tend to carry hand towels in their bags as well. It's just a habit that I picked up living in Japan. However, when it turns into the summer season when it's hotter, thicker towels don't really dry out that well in the in the humidity so um, a lot of people tend to switch from like thicker towels to these. Uh, so these are handkerchiefs and you'll find a lot of different brands. So this one is from Anna Sui. You'll find a lot of different clothing brands and just anywhere in general would sell handkerchiefs during the summer and hand towels during the rest of the year. It's used by just everyone in general and people would just have it on them. This is, you know, nice to have you know, if you're drying your hands, as well as if you don't have this on you, uh, you could have, you could use your handkerchief and just kind of wrap around that to um, keep the condensation from ruining the rest of your bag. I also started picking up these handkerchiefs when I'm traveling. These are ones that I picked up in Okinawa and they have the traditional print on it. So it's really cute and it reminds me of my travels or you'll find things like this one which is like a hybrid version it's kind of a handkerchief linen material on one side and it's like this very thin um towel thing on the other side which you know comes in handy as well so handkerchiefs they're very useful and very lightweight and it's nice to have and also uh if it starts raining <laughs> very little protection but I've used this before too when I've got caught in the rain by accident. Alright so those are my 10 
things that I recommend to have on you during the summer here in Tokyo. But actually I have two sort of honorable mentions that I think is it might be useful for those of you who want to try it out. First off, I have this. This is a cooling shirt spray. Uh, you can find this in any drugstore. And this is basically a spray not for your skin, but for your clothing. When you spray it on your clothes, it actually feels pretty cool. Uh, but for me, it's it kind of goes away after maybe 10 minutes or so. A lot of my friends around me love it. Uh, they can't live without it, especially those who have to go to work during the summer or have to move around a lot or those who wear Lolita clothes in the summer as well because there's a lot of layers, especially for suits and for Lolita clothing. Uh, a lot of my friends would spray this on the inside shirts that they wear so it provides this sort of cooling contact against their skin. So you just use it whenever it starts wearing off. Another friend of mine likes to use this when she gets home um, and she'll spray it on her um, room wear clothes. Um, after she like showers and changes, she puts this on and she said it's it's very refreshing and it, may, it helps her relax. So a lot of my friends like this. Um, I just have it on me for whenever I feel like it or when I remember to use it. But um, I definitely don't rely on this as much as what my friends do. So this one in particular is made out of natural ingredients as well. So it's uh, it's not harmful for your skin, but it's you know it's made for your shirt, uh, and it doesn't it doesn't ruin your shirt. So for the last honorable mention, which is something I like to have on me all the time, which are these. These are Netsusama Shito. They're these cooling gel pads for your forehead um, when you have a fever or you know whenever you want to feel cool. Um, so I would use this when I have a headache and I don't want to take medicine or uh, when I have a fever and also when I need to stay awake. You could get this in a drugstore anywhere as well. They're quite common. So they look like this. Uh, they have this like gel that's stuck onto this pad and you just peel off this and it's it's slightly sticky but it doesn't leave a residue but um, it feels very cool against the skin no matter where you put it so if you have sore muscles too uh, you could just put that on you could just put this anywhere it doesn't really penetrate the skin so much so it's not like one of those like icy hot pads it more acts like a heat transfer thing i don't know it's hard to explain when you put this on after a while you'll feel like this area like the cottony area it gets very warm but underneath is still cool and your forehead would be cool as well sometimes you might see every now and then maybe pretty rare to see somebody walking around with this stuck to their foreheads um, although I wear this when I'm at home sometimes so when I'm like doing chores and stuff um, sometimes I would wear this or when I'm editing I would just put that on my forehead and it just sticks there um, but it doesn't do anything like it doesn't like it's not medicine that enters the skin so it's kind of nice to have and then it just it feels really weird once it gets very warm on the cottony side but yeah I like having this um, as well as when I'm traveling on the plane like sometimes if you're if you're nauseous too sometimes it helps with that as well but particularly for the summer I like to have this around and on me for when you overheat so it, it says it lasts for eight hours I mean I've had it on until it's like completely dried down and it's been a little bit longer than eight hours so and sometimes I fall asleep with it on it's just a useful daily item so yes, yeah, so that's all of it. Uh, let me know what you guys think is interesting or if you're interested in trying out. These are just things that I ended up uh, starting to pick up along the way when I've been living in Japan for a while. I definitely know that there's a lot of Japanese drugstore items available in LA. So let me know if you found anything interesting or if you wanted to try anything out um, from this video. And definitely 
let me know if you ended up picking one of these items for yourself. Leave all your comments down below and click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos and the bell button if you want to get notified. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!